Now, let's get to the matter at hand, what's going on right now. Prohibition. Uh, prohibition of smoking in public places. Now, we have an ordinance. Okay? We have an ordinance in San Antonio. Okay? It bans it in all public uh, places. However, there are exclusions <laughs> to that ordinance that I think will, uh, will uh, confuse you maybe a little bit. Uh, the first thing is, uh, it excludes bars, dining areas that have a closed bar area or an uh, outside dining area. Um, Let's see, billiards, uh, standalone bars that you have down, uh, downtown, VFW halls, bingo facilities, and some nursing homes have decided to make themselves smoke available. Yeah, wow. Okay, you would have thought, no, that's like the worst place to have it. Uh, hotel rooms. In fact, it is stated that each hotel vendor in San Antonio is allowed to leave 35% of their capacity, their rooms, uh, specifically tailored to smoking customers. So if all of their other hotel rooms are booked and the only ones that were designated for smokers are open, the person who is not a smoker will be denied a room. Okay? That, that stuff needs to change. Okay? So, uh, like I said, this revision that's going down tomorrow night at City Chambers is going to address all these exclusions, which should not have been excluded from the original ordinance. Okay? Uh, these people need to be able to, to go to these places without the worry uh, of being uh, uh, introduced to this secondhand smoke uh, and, and to keep them have the choice, the freedom to be healthy and to take their family to a non-harmful area environment, you know? So, but I think it's a good thing. We need to be, move forward with it and we only will achieve our goals if everyone shows up. If they include themselves and their signatures on petitions, and if they actually show up to the room. And I'm going to invite each and every one of you, now that we're all chums, to come over to the thing tomorrow night, the chamber, city chamber, and to just be an advocate. Let your presence say, uh, say what, you know, what you can't come out of your mouth. And um, we'll, we'll be there, we'll try to be there at force, because we really believe in this, and it's a, it's a way for other people and other uh, companies, alcohol companies, tobacco companies, and other manufacturers of other products that are abused to know that, hey, we have a voice and we'll use it. So uh, with that, guys, if there's no other questions, that's my presentation.